Hello everybody, Larry here, and uh, today we're going to do some paper talk, note taken, and some different notebooks, jotting notes, for your thoughts, so something that you can take a note immediately, so you can save that thought and I am one of those that write down my thoughts immediately or my ideas because if I save it for later, later it never happens. I forget. Hmm. Have you ever had those days? Well, here is start with field notes and we're going to use the field notes, the reporter's notebook. And down here, as you can see, this is a darker uh, color of gray. And this is the newer one that came out, and I forgot when I bought this. It's a lighter color. Field notes. I'm not writing it down to remember it later. That's good, because I won't remember it later. I'm writing it down to remember it now. Doesn't that make sense? I think so. And that's how I roll. I have to write it down now to remember. So, and there really are some interesting notebooks. They're very handy. Uh, uh, there are well-made, put-together design for people like us. To take notes and I do like the style of the reporter's notebook they come 70 pages and they're made in the good old USA and I like the little logo down here and with the fountain pen and the lightning rod that's cool and the who what when where and why and you have the start date with the subject and the completion date with the subject. That's that's all cool. And so when you open it up, and this is the same thing as this one. I'm just not going to open this one up yet. Uh, this has the United States, the map, and it gives the central time, mountain time, Pacific time, and eastern time. And I am in the central So, and that's helpful. And it just has a lot of uh, interesting uh, topics down here uh, that you can go through and read. It may help you or may not help you. Uh, and the paper, the most important part of a notebook is the paper. And the paper is really some nice paper. And you can see some notes I've been taking in here and then down here. And uh, barely any bleed through or show through, but that's really laying the ink down. But uh, it performed well. You do sink some bleed through, but this is not bleed through on this part. This is from when the ink was wet. So, is it some good paper? I think so. I, I really do like it. And it comes in handy for that, uh, the length of the notepad. So I can just turn it over and write what I need to write down quickly. And then also what's also cool about it is in the very back it has a place where you can store your notes. Then later when you're free and have time you can go through your notes, keep what you want, and dispose of what you don't need. That's a handy. And in the back it does give you some other uh, cool information. Uh, that you might be able to use uh, a margin and text uh, 
a source of guidelines to help you familiarize yourself with uh, different uh, marks that you would use in texting. Uh, you would, I think, really be intrigued by this notebook. It's so unique. It's so different. It's just for looks. It, it's, it's handy. And it kind of reminds me back in the day when reporters will put out their notebooks and take notes. And I like how you can tear the paper out without ripping it up. And then you can insert this back in if you want. And on the very back, again, it has the field notes. And uh, just a very well-made notebook. And I've had this one for I don't know. I've kept it. I've had it for over a year, and it's been through hell and back. Uh, put it in my man's nutsack, and uh, it goes everywhere with me. Sometimes I'll just put it in my back pocket, and uh, I'll carry it with me for real. And then, you know, I'll, I'll sit down with it in my pocket, and it doesn't hurt it or nothing. And when I need to take a note, I'm out and about. I usually have my pen here, and I'll just pull out my field notes and jot some notes down. So that's that. So I thought I'd share this with you guys. If you're a note taker, then you know where I'm coming from. If you're not, then you're going to be wondering, is this guy weird or what? No. <laughs> I'm together. And now, this is one of my very first leather notebooks that I got. In fact, Mr. Announcer got it for me for Christmas. And the name of the notebook is... The uh, Midori Traveler. Yes, this is when they were named Midori. They've changed the name now. They've gone separate ways. And I do have the newest one that I will show at a later date. And they're very handy, and I do use it religiously. Very handy, very useful tool. Great stuff. And uh, I'm using a notebook in it right now, the Moleskin notebook. And uh, here is what it looks like. Well, this one's a different color, but here's what they look like, the Moleskin. Of course, they're bigger and won't fit as far as the lengthwise, but everything else, they fit fine. So what I did was I went down to the office depot and I had them cut this down to size. I think I had, what, four of them? And they just cut the whole thing on them. They charge 25 cents or something. And very handy. Um, you know, I like Moleskine. Uh, you know, for note-taking, it works for me. For some people, they don't care for Moleskine. So here's what it is, and here's what I use it for, because I do use it religiously. And we'll go into it. Da -dun, da -dun, dun -dun. As you can see, it does have bleed through, depending on the ink, but yeah, but it, it still works for me. I, I use it, now this one I started back in March the 30th of Friday, it was 49 degrees that day. I use it for to log in all my tests and all my carbs and what I eat. I'm a co controlled diabetic, so I still need to be careful. Uh, and so I log in everything I eat. And at the end of the night, I'll take a total of the miles that I've walked the total carb intake, the total carbs burned, and my tests before all of my meals, and my workouts. So all this is really handy for me. Let's go with today. This morning, typical morning, it was 72 degrees, partly cloudy, and my test before breakfast was 98. Or 99, and I had my usual 16 ounce vanilla latte and a cinnamon roll. 
And now yesterday morning, it was 83. So, you know, my test varies between the 80s and 90s, sometimes in the 70s. And uh, this is what it looks like. But it does come in very handy. And, you know, I do take notes in it. Like, uh, here are some pens that I want on my wish list. And I also keep on my Midori Traveler's Notebook. I have a little pocket uh, size notebook that I've cut down to size and I put in it uh, like let's say RVs and I have my car carbs and calories. I'm more concerned about my carb intake than calories. It works. Been there, done that. I used to weigh 222 plus pounds after a bit of workout and I'm not talking go work out your brains walk in and on the exercise bike. Uh, I got down within six months from a size 42 to a 38 and then from a 38 on down to what I am now 2930. I watch carbs religiously. I eat what I want and I sometimes eat small s snacks during the day throughout the day. And once a week, I'm allowed to pig out. Isn't that right, Mr. Nelson? Yes. Mm. Uh, but this helps me keep track, and I can log in my notebook of what I eat for the day, and I total it out. So these notes are handy and helpful. A few other ones that are, are good notebooks, they're still new, uh, are these... Uh, passport size. They fit in here just fine. I use them quite a bit. Uh, and I picked these up at the uh, Half Price Books. $2.99, 3 bucks a piece. And they're great for notes. 64 line sheets. So these come in mighty handy. And then here's the moleskin, the brand new one. I do like moleskin a lot. But I know there's a lot of people that do not, for any reason, like moleskin. And the moleskin on the very back has a place you can keep your notes in there. And it does have some perforate uh, it pages that you can just rip out and save. One, two... I don't know how about how many, but it's got quite a few. As you can do this. Oh, you know what? In this notebook, I think all of them are that way. And that's cool. Because a lot of times I like to tear out a page. And then I can't because I'll rev up the whole thing. But anyway, I found out just now. Okay. These many pages, without me counting them, I can rip out with no problem. So that's really handy. Moleskin does make some nice notebooks. And uh, I just showed you this in one of my reviews, the field notes. And they come in many different colors. Uh, they have one in space. They have just a whole lot of different colors. Uh, combinations of field notes. This is blank. Uh, line. Dot grid. And, uh, you know, it handles the fountain pen so well. I'm pleased with it. So this is another great notebook to use. Here's another really great one. In fact, this is my third one. So I haven't written in this one and I'm not going to. Uh, this is the... Is it the Africa or Life? I'm trying to remember which one is it. 
could be, well, it's the, here it is, Africa, yeah, nice notebook, nice and handy, great paper, does really great with fountain pens, and I actually forget how much they cost, but not a whole lot, and they're made in Japan, and if you're a paper person, you know that Japan puts out some quality, top-notch paper. I love Japanese paper. So, anybody from Japan, I salute you. You have excellent paper. Love it. I think the Japanese are masters in paper. They do an extremely well job in making their paper. A lot of pride is taken into this. A lot of hard work. So that's another one. Last but not least, your common everyday memo pad. And this one I've had around for decades. And I get my refills at Office Depot. And they're just regular notebook paper. And it does bleed through and show through severely. And that's okay. I still use it. It's handy. And, uh, even has a place in here. It comes with a little book that you can keep addresses in. You can keep business cards in here. It's handy. And uh, it takes a, a beating and keeps on going because this used to be my dad's. And I know this notebook has to have been around 1990 almost 28 to 30 years I've had this notebook and you can see how it's aged but it's still holding very well still well that's what I have today on notebook papers and a little bit about taking notes we all take notes one way or the other some people use the phone some people use paper. Some people use both paper and phone. I do both at times, but mostly I stick with the paper notebooks. It's really handy. It's convenient. And really, my fountain pens love to be used. So, again, I've said this many times, and I'll continue to say it. What's a better way to use your pen. You write with it and you use paper. You don't have to have expensive paper, no. You can use regular notebook paper. Again, some people don't like it. I can understand why because you're not going to get that great color of ink that you would use on fountain pen paper. Because the, the, the lower end paper, I hate the word cheap, but lower end paper just soaks it up real quick and you can't get that true, beautiful, rich color. And it'll bleed through like a big dog. But I still use it. In fact, I use it every morning when I'm on my bike doing my workouts. I log that in. I hope this has been helpful, but before I go... I do also have my Rhodia line paper, which is some good paper as well. And I do have the dot grid. Uh, I do have the big boy of this one that I haven't used yet. And what's taking me so long beats the heck out of me. But uh, I do love the way Rhodia uh, come out with the different colors and the way they the feel on it it's almost like a suede or a leather it's just it's just cool and you know this notebook comes with 70 sheets and it's 90 g as far as the paper grade and it does real well and there is some things i write down in it and it doesn't bleed through it did real well well that's going to do it I hope this gives you some ideas, especially for you newbies that are coming in.
to the fountain pen world, and now you're wondering, what kind of paper do I use? Can I just use any kind of paper? Will it show my inks the way I like it to? Well, first of all, yes, you can use any kind of paper you want. Because it's you. You use what you can afford. But you're not going to get the same look as if you use quality paper. Remember that. All right, newbies and folks already in the fountain pen world, I appreciate you taking some time out with me, the pen bug guy. And I write religiously every day of the year. And how many days in the year, Mr. Announcer? 365. That's how I roll, for real. Even when I'm sick down with the flu, I have to write something in. I have paper at my desk, paper in the pen room, and paper in the den. I write. I write and write because I enjoy writing. Thank you. Take care. Leave your comments and your thoughts on here, please. And how about hitting that like button? That does help me more than you know. And it's not going to hurt to get your finger and put it over there and hit the like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, do it now. And yes, I do accept Patreon and PayPal. That helps me to establish more new videos with different cool, exciting things. Take care. Don't text and drive. I will catch you guys later.